Hi, this video is going to show you how to do some needle turn applique, specifically how to turn a perfect point. I've begun by drawing my pattern, which is a leaf, onto a piece of freezer paper and then cutting it out. The freezer paper is then ironed to the right side of my fabric and the fabric is cut out, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. This is a really good way for doing needle turn applique. I'm going to begin by folding the seam allowance under with, and holding it with my thumb and then the needle and the thread will come up through the fold from the back. It just barely catches the fold. I'm going to turn a bit more under with my needle, hold it with my thumb, my needle goes back into the background fabric and up through the fold. I've done a couple more stitches and I'm going to stop here. I'm getting very close to the point. I'm about a seam allowance away from the point on the freezer paper. I can get rid of some of the bulk that will be turned under by clipping just that tiny bit that's already turned under away. And now I'm going to turn the point. I'll stitch down. I'm going to catch that point with my next stitch right here. I'm sewing right through the point. In fact, I'm going to sew another stitch there just to make sure that it's secure. And now I'm going to start down the other side of the point, tucking that seam allowance in as tightly as I possibly can. Take a stitch and tuck a little bit more. Now, as I'm trying to turn this seam allowance under, it really begins to pull. Uh, it's time to clip. I'm going to take a little snip right there on the curve and turn that under and now you can see that I can turn that seam allowance under without it pulling. And I'll continue stitching. With needle turn applique it isn't necessary to worry about any more seam allowance than what your thumb can hold. You don't turn the seam allowance under until your thumb gets to it. And you can see that not very much, Just a f I'm, my thumb is just a few stitches away from where I'm actually stitching. I use my needle to turn a little bit more of it under. And let's take a peek. It looks great. I'll stitch the rest of the way around, remove freezer paper, and I'll be done.